The last couple of weeks I've been organizing a marriage equality contingent under the name of Washington Marriage Alliance for the Seattle Pride Parade this year. And I have been overwhelmed and incredibly grateful for the positive and supportive response we've gotten from people. But it hasn't always been a cakewalk. Recently I was at a housewarming fundraiser for a local candidate and someone came up to me who was with another organization and the exchange basically went something like this. I mean, this really, this is what you're doing. We already do all of this. I mean, you should just join us. What you're doing is so silly. I mean, we already here for all doing the same thing. You should just do what we do. I mean, you don't even know what we do and you didn't even call us first if you should say anything or if you should even do anything. And you, I bet you didn't even talk to the pride, to the pride parade people to ask them if that's what you're doing. I mean, really? I mean, really? I just, just no, just no, no, just no, just don't, just, just no, just don't. For those of you who don't speak whiny hobag, let me translate for you. Basically what this woman was saying was that I should just quit it and that nothing that I was doing was going to get off the ground, nobody was going to be interested, and I should just stop wasting my life. Now, a couple of years ago, something like this would have completely devastated me. And a couple of years before that, I wouldn't even have tried organizing a marriage equality contingent. I was able to look at this situation in a different light because I've been thinking positively instead of thinking so negatively about the world. What this woman was doing wasn't reflecting badly on me, per se. She was making herself look bad. The fact that this woman was passing judgment on something that she knew absolutely nothing about only reflected badly on her. Nobody came up to me later and agreed with this woman, and nobody went up to her later and said that she was out of line. She was simply making herself look like an idiot. And to be quite honest, if I stopped doing something that I wanted to do every time some uppity hobag got in my face and told me I was wasting my life, I would still be living at home doing absolutely nothing with my life. There is absolutely no reason to stop doing what you love because some asshat tells you that you can't. So for the last couple of weeks, I have been working on organizing a marriage equality contingent with a group of local, local youth, with a group of